They couldn't possibly think this would be racist. Oh no. No. Oh, for the love of God, mother... You see it here, folks. <laughs> this is from The Guardian. This is the racism of technology and why driverless cars could be the most dangerous examples yet. Huh? Machine vision is struggling to recognize darker skinned pedestrians. Oh, oh God. And the cost pressures could make things worse. Oh yes, yes they could. There is a rule for dealing with computers. Garbage in, garbage out. Put the wrong number of zeros in your Excel spreadsheet and, un and it will unthinkingly pay for your, pay your staff pennies on the pound. Dollar, whatever. Train a self-driving car to recognize human figures by showing it millions of pictures of white people and it might struggle to identify pedestrians of the races. Oh, that's a stretch. That was the finding of researchers at Georgia Tech who analyzed, anal, who if, how effective various machine vision systems were at recognizing pedestrians with different skin tones. These results were alarming. AI systems were consistently better identifying pedestrians with lighter skin tones than darker. And not by a little bit. One headline comparison suggests that a white person was 10% more likely to be correctly identified as a pedestrian than a black person. Good frickin' God. Self-driving cars are by no means the first technology to fail when confronted by other ethnicities. Jesus Christ. Google's image recognition system notoriously failed to discern black people from gorillas. Oh, good God. Here we fucking go. Almost every product design has failed to grapple with the reality of humanity, from Kodak color film that reduced dark skin to pitch black smudge, to motion-activated taps and dryers that refuse to acknowledge the presence of a brown hand but will trigger for a white one. Wow. A 10-ton driverless truck poses a higher penalty for error, however. The good news is that most actually existing self-driving cars use more than one type of sensor, including several that do not rely on visible light at all. Tesla cars, for instance, have a radar built in to the front of the vehicle, while Google's Waymo uses a bulky but extraordinarily accurate LiDAR system instead. Think radar, but with lasers. Lasers. The bad news is that there's a strong market pressure to, prov to move towards camera-only systems based on huge cost savings. Such systems would only hit the streets in large numbers if they proved significantly safer than human drivers. But even then, that raises the important question. Safer for whom? Not if you're black. These self-driving cars will kill you. This is from The Geek. This was that, that from The Guardian was five days after this right here. Left from The Geek. <laughs> Study. Even self-driving cars are racist now. Um, even a future where amoral machines seem posed to wipe out everyone, certain groups of already marginalized people are apparently going to suffer. Even more, even earlier. It turns out the problem with the robots isn't the they are cold and unfeeling compared to humanity. It is that their flawed thought process are too similar to the people who make them. That's the really biggest takeaway for me personally after seeing the study of how self-driving cars are racially biased against people with darker skin. Bullshit. They're not. It just how it just depends on the technology. Can it be? Can it be fixed? Sure. But the problem here now is that everything is racist. Especially cars now that are self-driving. See, the study, predictive inequity in object detection comes from Benjamin Wilson, Judy Hoffman, and Jamie Morgenstern at the Georgia Institute of Technology and would report to test accuracy of object detection systems in autonomous vehicles when it comes to seeing different, dif different skin tones. The experiment takes into account different lighting, time of day, other objects in view, and other world-world factors a self-driving car might face. It says, uh, the result, these... Systems were 5% less accurate when detecting darker skinned people on average. Okay, but is that the technology or is that some nefarious tech geek that was uh, programming this system? I seriously doubt there was a, uh, a racist tech geek. I think it's the technology. If they can send and put a man on the moon with the, with the computer technology of a pocket calculator, they can figure this out. 
Granted, that just doesn't sound much worse, and it, to be brutally honest, it probably is safer compared to how human drivers would fare when looking out for pedestrians of color. What is that supposed to mean? That white drivers are going to steer into a black crowd? I mean, good, what bullcrap? But it would be really infuriating infuriating tragedy if that 5% made the difference between being fatally struck by a self-driving car or not just because of the color of your skin. I think these people are biased, obviously. Um, let's see. Uh, let's skip over that paragraph. But racism in tech like this can be seen in even more benign examples like early Xbox Kinect cameras not seeing black people or even the entire history of photography favoring lighting that flatters white skin. Still, racism in self-driving cars presents potentially more life-threatening issues, so hopefully that gets worked out between the snack robots and coal mine trucks. What the freak? Although it's March, the racist... Self-driving car news would have fit right in last month as part of most cursed Black History Month yet. It's not all bad news, though. Check out the Black History Month coverage to be reminded of cool things happening with black people and geek culture. What a piece of shit article. Holy crap. I mean, do we, do we, did I not understand this correctly? What this person is saying? That machines, or say technology, if you will, are inherently racist and they're out to get black people this surely basically means that everything is racist according to white people 